Well, hello again and welcome to Monument Cycling's highlights of the second round of the 2024 British Cycling Women's National Road Race Series. It is the East Cleveland Classic and it was Cat Ferguson and Imogen Wolf both riding for Shipdom Apex race team who had light up the race, joined by Tiffany Keep in the blue and the green of Das Hutchinson Brother UK on the first of four ascents of the now infamous Saltburn Bank. The bunch behind was strung out with echoes of the pain of the 2023 National Road Race Championships as another three riders looked to bridge across. Shortly then, this would be a front group of six riders, now also with representation from the Alba Development Road Team and Dolcini O'Shea. And without anyone in the breakaway, it was left to the red and black jerseys of Pro Noctis 200 Degrees Hargreaves contracting to try and bring them back. And it would all in fact come back together shortly after and for the rest of this lap of rolling Yorkshire countryside, Pro Noctis, with help from Das Hutchinson Brother UK on the front, kept the pace high enough to disincentivise any would-be attackers. And by the second ascent of Saltburn Bank with 56 kilometres to go, again it was Pro Noctis, Das Hutchinson, Shibdom Apex and the Alba development team continuing to pull forward, stringing the bunch out. The race would settle down a little bit now into the third lap, though again it was Shibdom Apex race team who would make another move off the front. The junior team in the green and black becoming a familiar sight clearly intent to leave their stamp on the race. Again it looked like a strong move but seemingly unfazed by the team's youthful exuberance, the peloton would again eventually bring the attack back under control. And so with everything together, it seemed that at least for now, the bunch was quite happy to keep its options open. The pace eased a bit and remained fairly relaxed for some time as bikes spread out wide across the road. Not quite steady enough, of course, for any sightseeing as we continue to roll quickly forwards towards the coast and the penultimate rise of Saltburn Bank. Now coming around these fast corners, it was Das Hutchinson pulling on the front, but keep an eye on second wheel there. That's Cat Ferguson, first attacker of the climb of the day. And just around this corner, we can see her front wheel slips out from under her. She goes down. Now we'd normally expect that to be the end of her race here today as we see Das Hutchinson, brother UK now, ramping the pressure up on the front of the group towards that first switch back as we get another glimpse of Ferguson coming down there. Hands on the tarmac, that's gonna hurt. But what is incredible is that following a very speedy bike change, Shibdom Apex race team got Cat Ferguson back onto two wheels and back into contention. Now this group on the front with Dolcini O'Shea, Alba Development and Das Hutchinson, we get a few seconds on the bunch, but it would all come back together under the Flam Rouge. And as we approach the last climb of Saltburn Bank, it's everything still to play for. And coming through, leading on the final climb then, I can hardly believe it is Cat Ferguson after that crash earlier. Tiffany Keep then for Das Hutchinson tries to come around the outside. Has she got enough power left? Cat Ferguson still looking strong on the front, coming to that second hairpin. It's still Cat Ferguson on the front. Tiffany Keep in second, but now it looks like Ailey Shaw in the blue of Albert Development. As Ferguson goes away, Shaw tries to get on that wheel, throwing the bike out the saddle. It's Imogen Wolf in third. Tiffany Keep goes back. Back. Has she got enough left? It's still Cap Ferguson and oh, surely now she's done it. The gap goes out, nothing could stop her today. A crash, a bike change. Are we seeing a little bit of cycling history made today? The 17 year old from Yorkshire takes the victory and it's gonna be Ailey Shaw in second place for Albert Development and Imogen Wolf in third. Well, after an electric day of racing, it was Cat Ferguson of Shibdom Apex race team who took victory in the second round of the Women's National Road Race Series. It would be Ailey Shaw of Alba Development Road Team who would take second place and rounding out the podium again for Shibdom Apex race team in third, it was Imogen Wolf. The season has of course only just begun. There is much more to come. Thanks very much for watching. We look forward to catching you again.